now in this session we are going to discuss floating point arithmetic so floating point arithmetic means we can do addition subtraction multiplication division but in this session we shall con uh, consider only the addition and subtraction operation so what are the steps required a suitable example to uh, demonstrate and the respective hardware layout which is required so everything will be discussed in this session so floating point subtraction and addition so now here you see these are the steps required say steps to add or subtract to floating point numbers so compare the magnitudes of the two exponents you know that whenever we are going to perform the floating point addition or subtraction at first i shall have to ensure that both the floating point numbers should have the same exponent value if the exponent values are same then only i can do the addition or subtraction with the mantissa so mantissa addition and subtraction can only take place when the exponents are equal so to make those exponents equal i should take the exponent which is having the value smaller and then i shall realign that exponent so that the exponent will be having the equal value with the larger exponent of those two numbers if my conception is not clear to you i shall go for the example make suitable alignment to the number with the smaller magnitude of the exponent so i shall be doing the alignment check with the smaller exponent value number perform the addition or subtraction whatever you have been asked for perform normalization by shifting the resulting mantissa and adjusting the resulting exponent so in the the result the answer thus obtained has to be normalized so for doing normalization i should consider the exponent uh, realignment and the mantissa realignment so let me go for the example to make the topic clear to you example add this number and this number so when these two numbers have been asked to get added then obviously i should consider that that very number which is having the exponent smaller for the alignment so here the exponent smaller number is this one here the exponent smaller number is this one so i should consider it so i shall go for the realignment i am considering four uh, bits after the radix point so now this number has to be realign so if i want to make it 2 to the power of 4 then i shall have to make this one in this way i think it is clear to us as it is becoming 2 to the power of 4 in place of 2 to the power of 2 so these two digits will be going after this decimal point so 0 1 will be going after this decimal point so the number will be aligned like this add two numbers to get so now just go on adding this to mantissa part mantissa can also be called a significant so please add this to mantissa parts and this is the answer you are getting you can go on adding and you will be getting this one very simple and then to the power of 4 will be there and then the last step will be known as the normalization so again this very number has to be normalized so that it will come in this particular format so that is you know i'm just putting this 1 and 0 after this radix point so my exponent will become 2 to the power of 6 in that case so in this way it is there assuming 4 bits are allowed after the radix point so three steps are there the first one is your alignment the second one is your addition and the third one is your normalization so let me discuss the required uh, floating point numbers addition subtraction can be done using what uh, hardware uh, circuitry so now we are having this component e1 and component e2 so these two components will be compared and the logic that who has to be adjusted for how many bits place so that will be the input going to this align the proper mantissa and then you perform this add or subtract so here you are getting the selected exponent value here you are getting the mantissa of the result after doing the addition or subtraction now result normalization and rounding logic and thus you are going to get your resultant exponent or and the resultant mantissa so this is a very simple schematic diagram for this addition subtraction of floating point numbers 
So just be with us. So we will be going for in the next video there is a floating point multiplication and then floating point division also. Thanks for watching.